Hello and welcome to uh, a game I like to call Evolution 101. With me, I have High Wang and Future Friend. Wow, I get turd billing. What the fuck, Doc? Yeah, what sure. The fuck? Sure. This game makes me question my health degree. Four years of biology, and I just sit there like, the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, this game is the best kind of uh, pseudoscience bullshit because of the absurd concepts and just stupid ways they resolve themselves. I don't know, Gus. I dropped out of high school. This seems pretty accurate to me. Well, it tries pretty hard to, to stay to the... Uh, oh, we're, we're high-concept sci-fi, you know. It's about evolution and, and cells and stuff. And, yeah, it's really... Really, you have to have really passing interest in, in microbiology to understand any of it, or, you know, gone to a, a high school with a biology course. The best thing oh, about this game is that they're so straight-faced about their statements, too. It's like, it's pretty much something Kojima would write. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's really close for him. They tried to teach me biology in high school, and I just fucking threw my hat to the floor and left. They never <laughs> saw me again, those fuckers. Uh oh. We're 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 up to we're up to polygons now. All right, pretty See, part of the game is over. This doesn't look so bad. The, for some reason, the models in this particular game look pretty janky. The textures don't look so bad. It's just the models are very blocky and make they, yeah, I guess the wire look like they have cells. Yeah, weird as double chins that also protrude. Uh, they improved on that. Several times over in the second game, like really did some did some very good looking uh, uh, wireframes models. What do you call them? Yo, if you guys don't Polygon like anime, people. this is pretty anime in some ways. So hang on to your butts. Man, I haven't even said anything about th this. Is a game about uh, about New York City, about Christmas in New York City. This is my experience uh, living in the suburbs. Every Christmas was like this. Isn't that a plot of Die Hard? I was just about to say, is this Die Hard the video game? Sure. Yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, there we go. Analog. Does that smooth out my analog control? No, it disables it. Awesome. Okay. Uh, movement in this game is very binary, if you could use that as a term. It's just set in eight directions. Yeah. Like, this is well before they got a handle on analog controls and they didn't smooth it out. Mm -hmm. Well, this game did have... Didn't this game have DualShock support? I don't know, but I, I do remember... it did, that... and I just don't have it set correctly. Maybe, oh. I don't know, like, I, I kind of skipped a whole in C C4 and PS1 generation. The uh, pre-rendered backgrounds are pretty decent. They're not. I don't. I don't think they're as good as uh, like Resident Evils, but they're good enough. Uh, pretty sure this was after, like Resident Evil Two. I think. Yes. Also, I'm pretty sure this game took a lot of inspiration from The Thing. Yeah. And I'm not Most saying likely. that because I watched that movie recently and lost about a good 24 hours of sleep from that. I mean, just in general, like most body horror stuff took I was about inspiration to from the thing. Yeah. I was about to mention that. It was like, yeah, this this game is uh, pretty good, uh, pretty pretty big in the uh, sci-fi body horror kind of vein. <laughs> pretty big in the body horror community. <laughs> oh God, are there, yeah, there it is weird to are. see. It is weird to see how much of the thing inspired other stuff. Because the whole time I watched that movie, like for the first time uh, a week ago, I just kept saying, "Hey, that's from that video game." Hmm. Yeah, a bunch of people watched that. They saw they saw things bursting out of other things, and they're like, "Wow, I want that to happen in, uh, in in my video games." I want this to happen in Doom, except not really. So it's a nice night at the opera. 
This is, no, this is what, when you're at Tiapra. This is what NYPD officer Ayabria does in her spare time. <laughs> I don't know why, but that looked really weird for a second. Yeah, her... Something is weird about her... Her... <laughs> CG form. And, uh, yeah. Everything's on fire, no big Holy deal. Shit. It's alright, guys. I forgot that one of the dudes just body slammed someone while on fire. I just realized we need a bingo card for, like, sci-fi tropes. Such as spontaneous human combustion. I could probably figure out something by the next stream, and we could put it in that little corner of your st of your stream. <laughs> <gasps> when will you, when in a game will you ever have to dodge a man falling on you who is also on fire? In what game, I ask you? Anarchy Reigns? Uh... I don't don't know that game. I think State of Emergency, but I don't think that, that game oh. for people. Okay. Well, time for us to do cop things, because this is clearly a job for the police. That sounds more like a fireman thing to me. <clears throat> nope. Police has police got it. We're good. I mean, this is an obvious human, premeditated murder. I mean, spontaneous human combustion. That's definitely a fireman thing. <clears throat> that's fine. Also, do not make a drinking game off of people catching on fire. It happens uh, all oh. the goddamn time. You'll die. I know we love to make jokes like that, but that's that's no joking matter. Liver failure is not something you should strive for. I'm also glad Ma Aya managed to uh, sneak her her police gun into the opera without anyone caring. Yeah. But then again, this was a different time. This was pre-paranoia, so I guess you could do that. Alright, battle system. Um, it's sort of an action RPG kind of thing where you run in between turns and dodge enemy attacks. And you... Uh, oh, right, I'm not a mod here. <laughs> Because G Volt provided. Oh, uh, hang on. Yes, at to mention, plug my shitty stream. <clears throat> sure. Oh, shit. What? No, I just saw the science fiction bingo. Man, pain. Distract me every day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that dude getting sh shoulder tackled into the rafters is man pain. All right, so battle system. Uh, your turn comes up. You pick where you want your shots to go. You shoot. Uh huh. Something is happening, interrupting the tutorial fight. I do Even like how active this game is with their uh, battle system. It's still turn based, but you know you feel like you're actually fucking doing something. Yeah, what you do in between turns is actually very important. Pretty easy fight, not gonna lie. Game is not you know, always this easy, not at all. You no, know, not gonna lie, this is a lot more of the fight than I remember seeing. Wow, this tutorial fight is just, oh, it's just tiring me out, it's so difficult. No, Under other. Are there people in the chat who haven't played this game? I've been sort of not talking about the story all that much. I kind of feel like I want to, I won't want to let it just happen. I mean, I haven't played it, but I watched an LP of it. I streamed the shit out of this game once upon a time. <laughs> Do not compare this to Quest 64, please. <laughs> yeah, this game has actual, you know, good mechanics and a decent story and is set in the future. And our it's character doesn't have a set in 1997. The future of mitochondria. <laughs> no, it's our past. This already happened. Ah, uh, yes, I remember the time when half of New York was caught on fire. Yeah, the N New York blockade in uh, 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 incident. It's very famous. Uh, we're going to fast forward and... Uh, God, she's slow even when, you, even when you're fast forwarding. Yes. Got no that frame limits, doesn't matter. I think I need to go this... 
How the fuck do you get off of this thing? I do remember this game being a lot faster, though. Um, f for some, maybe it's because of the heels. <laughs> Perhaps. Oh, 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 that guy. That guy didn't get too far. It's a man jerky. Uh, yeah, he tried. That's all that matters. That's true. Oh, oh boy. You put the you tried star on his corpse. Uh, you don't have to go outside, but it's a good idea to, for reasons that will become clear shortly. You could just leave the opera and <clears throat> solve nothing. Well, backup arrived. No, we gotta be strategic about this. We can't run into the biomass monstrosity and expect everything to go well. Hell also, I, I don't know if you noticed, but we only had, like, seven more bullets. Oh yeah, to segue into that, this game, this JRPG has an ammo system. You have limited attacks. It's not incre if you play the Initially. game right, then it's not a big deal. It's not. It's not like in the second game where it is a really big deal. All oh, right. There's actual uh, survival horror mechanics. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, we get free healing here. Uh, yeah, Aya didn't burst in the flames like a lot of other people did. <clears throat> Probably not not a whole lot of survivors here. Yeah. Ammo. 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 Oh ammo. <laughs> ammo. 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 Stop. Ammo. Stop. Okay. We only have enough room in that dress. <laughs> not anymore, we don't. Alright. She had to curl up the lung and just to hold the bullets. Let's go this join just some has biomass. A very big magazine. Yeah, so, uh, like I said, ammunition in this game, important, but not hard to come by. <clears throat> oh. Wait. We're just gonna play this entire game and fast forward. Man, maybe. We played half of Final Fantasy VIII like that. You know what? I probably will end up using... If I can manage to do the, the battles in Fast Forward, it would be the stream would benefit. <laughs> you can't deny that. Some levels Much in this game... Much as I like this game, it ran Some away. levels in this game drag on for way too long. Uh-huh. Locked. Locked. Shit's locked. All the doors are rusty. Now, this is pretty much a straight fucking rip from the thing. Yeah. Like, I was pretty stunned when this ha when I saw this in the movie. Also, there's like every stock wild animal sound effect ever in this game. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's kind of... I like how they incorporate... Also, ah, god, your eyelid, no. I don't even yeah. know what that fluid is. Look at... Oh my god! That is it's impossible wild. in so many ways. Jesus Christ. Oh, right, fighting. Man, I knew New York had a rat problem, but this is ridiculous. Yeah, no, you, there's like tons of those in the in the. Uh, I think that's bad. Wait till you see the, the alligators. Oh yeah. <laughs> that rat evolved into a dog. Oh yeah, probably should have warned people. Ah, uh, there's a lot of buddy horror in this. We, I talked about it already. I did mention it. <laughs> Also, there's a clown, so it's okay. Here's our, com that's even Here's our worse. comic relief, guys. Yeah, <laughs> that's even worse. By the way, the uh, game audio might be a little low. Should I? Oh, why is it at one? You're gonna put it at two when the audio explodes. No, I had it at like five before. I think maybe the Skype call. Let me, I wonder uh, if let me the take clown's samples. gonna transform into a body horror. Bye, clown. Account. Audio is pr audio is pretty good at one, like perfect balance between do between. No, I just I just turned I turned it up a, uh, like ten right. seconds ago, so you might have. Uh... But yeah, tell me if it's too loud. Yeah, that's Doc Scream. Gotta love it. That's eh, good. 
Wait, there was nothing... I could have sworn there was something in one of these lockers. That is weird that a locker would just open and you can't... And there's, like, nothing in it. That is weird. The game's bugged. I can't pick up anything. I think it was ammo and you're just full up right now. No, you can't. Well, can you max out ammo? No, you can't. I think you can max out, but at, like, 999. Yeah, you don't, you're not going to get that much ammo. Have no. you seen my playthrough? No. I used a grenade launcher, so ammo was, um... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's only one type of ammo. The everything ammo. <laughs> you have 500 bullets, you also have 500 grenades. You also have 500 rifle rounds. You also have 500 shotgun shells. So you don't yeah, have to really future. you don't have to really think too hard about it. And that's I think uh, at least for this game, I think it's a point in its direction. Second so game. Is that dude twitching? Yep, he's twitching. I never noticed. Yeah, I always like that. Reminds me of like Silent Hill monsters. Oh, Susanna, no. Yeah. Oh no, not the clown. Oh no, we didn't I don't find want the Susanna? No, we didn't find the clown. Could I just not... Did I just not open all of them? Yeah, I think you can open all of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm remembering how finding stuff works in this game. Sometimes there are some really, like, dick things that you could very easily miss. Yeah. There is one particular item in here that would will make, you know, <laughs> the coming bosses much easier. I wonder if I should point it out or not. Oh, um... Is that a full revive? No, it involves vandalism and results in, like, getting rid of that spaghetti dress for something that actually protects you. Uh, well, if I walk past it, let me know. I think I know what you're talking about, though. I have yet to play Parasite Eve 2, and people say I really should do it, but I'm kind of like, no, I want to play an action game. Well, did you like uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3? Well, I'm not going to say I don't like Parasite Eve's games, but I'm just kind of like in the mood where I want to play something more fast-paced. I don't want to I don't want to wait for a hexagon to pop out of my ass to shoot things. No, you know you don't. It's like Resident Evil. Hmm, interesting. It's one of my favorite games uh, from that era, because I was big on survival horror and stuff, and I didn't see a game that was able to make a good RPG hybrid kind of thing, and Parasite Eve 2 did a really good job of that. Interesting. <clears throat> Tons of replay value, too. I must have played it like 10 or 11 times. Not kidding. Didn't the third Resident Evil game have this really weird, like, clothing mechanic? Uh, no? Hmm. Also, Rip Clown. Eh, he won't do this. Wait, is this the same room? Yes. I'm already lost. I, I know, it's just a straight hallway. And yeah, I've heard nothing good about the third birthday, and I have no... I, I have no interest in finding out. I'd rather just no. enjoy well, what, I, what I've played. Third birthday is a bad, really creepy game. Oh, it's creepy too. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it's a game that ah! has uh, clothing battle damage. Uh-huh. See, in any other, like, video game, I'd think that would be cool, but the stuff they showed off for third birthday was kind of creepy. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's not, it's not a thing that's, like, you know, actually cool. It's literally just fetishy stuff. Awesome. That was video sarcastic. games are good. <laughs> Awesome! I love By that which I mean awesome! Stuff. I'm gonna go check that out right now. Stream over, goodbye. <laughs> hmm, have we found a key yet? Uh, no, but I think there is one in this room. All I know is that it's in a desk. Oh, yeah. Also, let's call, let's call our boss and report in. Hey, uh, yeah, opera's cool. Uh, everyone's on fire. Um, I mean, not anymore. Aya, why the hell are you calling me at 4 a.m.? I don't know if I'm going to allow New York accents during this series of streams. <laughs> at least, not that one. Hey, I'm walking over here! Bird. 
Does this guy do anything? I forget. Does he make you fight him when you try to walk? No. You still here, bird? Also, yeah, Fear Effect is a totally different game. Hey. What are you doing? Uh huh. Bow Wang, is there anything I can do with this stupid bird? I believe you've done all you can with it. Okay. <clears throat> Like, it's not important, but it is kind of a, uh, it does kind of do a cool thing, but I can't remember how to trigger it. In the meantime, look for desks. Desks are very important. Shit, you're right. I already missed- oh no, I did get a key. Missed like two desks. Honestly, it's- oh. I feel like I know this part of the game so well, I'm kind of playing it on autopilot and then forgetting <laughs> to do really basic don't. things. Oh no, now it is a slightly more prehistoric looking bird. It just kind of ruffled its feathers. Like, you give us a body horror scene for a rat, but not a bird. At least it would have been Birds pretty. Are uh -huh. Ammo. Some of these triggers are really hard to find if they're there. And you start doubting if they're there in the first place. I don't think that had a trigger. That's just a really poorly drawn um, texture. Well, a poorly anti-alias <clears throat> texture, I should say. Is that really all that was in there? I refuse to believe that's all that's in there. This game is for the birds. BRB gun. Ban everyone. Stream over. Uh, ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> hey, this game has working mirrors. Yeah. That's a... That's a plus. I bet this is one of these games where the mirror comes out and tries to punch you. <laughs> I took all that medication. I have to get the part. Oh, that kind of escalated. Oh, my body's hot. I keep collapsing. Oh, person I don't like died. Hmm. Maybe I should <laughs> stop taking this crocodile. <laughs> nah, it's fine. It's, it's helping fine. me with my brain problems. It's fine. No, oh, opening night. Everything went smoothly. Christmas Eve show coming up. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be great. This is gonna be her big break. So she better take a lot of medicine. These pills are great. I got the joy in my heart. I, uh, you're clearly not in Vice, because... Rehearsal key. This person keeps talking <laughs> about just jamming her fucking throat full of cocaine. Does she have a drug problem? Yeah, Melissa did does kind of have brain problems. And body problems. Uh, oh no. Oh no, no, what have I done? Frame skip! Oh, uh, it, won't, it won't change anything, I'm still gonna hit the button. It's not gonna change how fast I hit the button, so it's useless. Uh, player input, my one weakness. Okay, oh, I almost clicked on it again. I can't wait till someone tries to speedrun this game at the next day GDQ. Ugh, I don't think I'd make a very good speedrun. Did I go in this one already? No, you can't do that one until you, uh... Like, there's a key in a specific <laughs> hall... In a specific, blah, specific room that we passed. Yeah, I, rem I remember the double doors is one of these, the rehearsal room. Oh, we also unlocked that. What? 
Yeah, this is where yeah, this is where we go for this part, but I think there's a Yeah, we don't want to double back. We don't want to do this quite yet, but I guess we're in autopilot mode. This doesn't this doesn't lock you into anything. We're missing two good items. Ah, yes. Uh, that is that is definitely what I was thinking about. This is what we go to the for, to the opera for, kids. To discuss, you know, theoretical biology. Does this lady have a drug problem or something? <laughs> yeah, she's addicted to crocodile. Oops, keep forgetting. Wrong, I need to use D-pad. I don't know why, but this remind this character design reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, it does feel like. Ah! Oh, okay, well that's no good. So, yeah. double, uh, multiple hit attacks are pretty devastating. Uh, we can use... Oh, uh, PE is Parasite Energy, it's basically MP, it recharges uh, during battle, and it recharges less and less as you use it. Alright, so I'm just gonna stay in the middle here. There we go. There's also a damage mechanic associated with PE that was, I was not aware of until the, like, the final battle of the game. Damage mechanic? Yeah, if you have a full PE bar and it's flashing, you take half damage. What?! Oh. Yeah. I don't uh, think that was a good time to test it. I don't know if knowing that will change how I play the game, but it's not early. It doesn't help early game, but late game it's really helpful. Yeah, I'm thinking of a couple of bosses where I really have trouble on. That Kojima just passed like his biology notes onto these guys. Yup. No, I think Kojima just saw this and went, I can work with this. <clears throat> this was based off a book, by the way. A science yeah, fiction yeah. book. You have to read the book, but I hear it's meh. Yeah, and then, they made a meh. and then they made a movie out of that book, and it was very bad. <laughs> and then they also, made a video game based on the movie, and it was awesome. I think Parasite Eve, the book, was like yeah, kind of funny fucking how, different. Kind of funny how that worked, huh? Uh, doesn't she make... Isn't there another, like, hole back here or something? Yeah. I don't want to go down there just yet. Yeah, you have two items to get <clears throat> that'll make, uh, the following area a lot easier. So it's, like, half damage from everything? I believe so. I don't remember the mechanics in general, but I do know it it reduces damage. That, I, I feel like the, the boss I hate the most in this game is the centipede boss really I'm... in the like the late late game not the worm you haven't fought the crab have you oh no i i got crab i got crab down yeah i remember i remember doing it like a billion times that's why yeah that was a, that was an unending source of misery for me uh i don't remember how to do it now but maybe i hopefully i'll be able to <clears throat> Because it's worth doing. That's an optional boss. I think I had to hunt down a lot of supplies to get that shit done. Because you can't buy potions in this game like you could with another JRPG. Nope. That's kind of a that's kind of a big deal. Uh, there's optional stuff, but your resources are not infinite. At least not healing items. That's why you want to rely as much on parasite energy as possible and conserve your items. Unfortunately, you also can't carry uh, a whole lot, so you have to kind of. Know, make the best use out of your resources. Yeah, everybody hates Bin that mechanic. That shit. I don't know why everybody hates that mechanic in video games. I always find it like exciting because it's a good way to um, alter Add the more attention. Yeah. yeah. It makes a survival game a survival game. Otherwise, it's not a survival game. It's a collection, and then use it when you need a game. 
I mean, bad inventory systems can easily cripple a game like that. Because, I mean, Resident Evil... Uh, I still... I, I mean, I know the, the first three games work pretty well that way, but I hate only having eight inventory slots. That drives me crazy. That's too little. Hmm, I thought there was a gun here. Maybe I'm going crazy. <clears throat> Wait, what did I just pick up? You got six bullets. Wait, that's it? Maybe the mitochondria is fucking with my mind, I don't know. Uh... I believe, uh, left side room. The one that you The one that had, had the save point, right? No, 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 no. No. It's the farthest back left room. This one? Nope. Yeah. Farthest back left. Okay. Do, 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 do. That's not the farthest back. That's the farthest forward. We oh, come on. Back to. F you didn't specify. I assumed back meant away from progress. My god, I'm getting lost in the first fucking hallway. I can't <laughs> believe it. This is. Alright, there it is. Harp, uh huh. Things, yeah. Box. Okay, that's. You have to examine the cabinet. Yeah, yeah, wall in the back. Oh, oh, cabinet. Alright, there's a thing. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, let's. Um. Alright. That's an all around improvement. There are hidden chests there. Also, hey, Skeleton, what's up? Eh, not much, just hanging around. <clears throat> yeah, uh, six slots if you play as Chris, and fuck that. Like, from what I hear about Resident Evil 1, Chris's mode just sounds like punch yourself in the dick mode. Wait, you said cabinet? Oh, there we go. God, that's a small trigger for that. Yeah, gotta get used to that again. Mm -hmm. Oh! Second, ga second game was a lot better about that. Also, that guy was tiny and got very large. It was mutating. Apparently there are also sponges. Okay, so what did I get for that? Hmm. I guess a boatload of nothing, because I thought another gun item was there. Hi, Wang. Your memory of this game is lacking, it seems. I played this game across a month, so some stuff is kind of spotty. And running. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Gonna jump down another hole. Yeah, sewers. Every game needs a sewer <clears throat> level. Oh yeah, um, emulation's gonna get a bit weird. With the... With yep. the invert colors. <clears throat> oh, I didn't see what spell I just got. You got scan, so oh. who cares? Yeah, I really don't ever use that. Pro also, tip, this is one of the games where scan is garbage and doesn't tell you HP. Also, I'm probably, yeah, going to get into it. Because I got lost in the battle. I forgot <laughs> which direction I was pointing in. Uh. Uh, you can, you have to select two different targets, but if I knew that I was going to crit and kill that guy in one, in one shot, I could have targeted the other one. Maybe got them both. Yeah, there's no auto-adjust for missed shots. By the way, those rats were holding 24 handgun bullets. Good. They're mine now. 18, uh, my That was a net bad. gain. That was a net gain on bullets. It's very important in this economy. Ah, oh, frog. I don't like those guys. It's a f oh yeah. Wow, I'm blind. 
And I'm staying way the fuck away from that thing for a reason. Ah, okay. There we go. Okay. Never trust bug. Kill the toady. No, oh, no, I'm out of range. Oh. Uh, if you are out of range, the chances of you doing significant damage to the enemy are very low. Alright. <clears throat> Is I it mostly good... because you're gonna miss, or just, uh... You, most, you miss pretty often. I think you might do a little bit of damage, but... Right? If you hit, it's a good 66% damage reduction. I think it's effective bullet range they're trying to account for. Hey, an M19. Solid sticky, is that? Yep. Uh, I believe I want to go up first. Yeah, we just recycled the uh, the bullets we shot into them. No big deal. You know, Listen, we, uh, we're, we try to we try to have green practices here. Yeah, in, in the we're we environmentally do. friendly. Okay. Yeah. We know biology. We know what this shit can do. All right, so British. my damage per turn has gone up significantly because now my gun has a three-shot attribute. Um. Ah, oh, there's a revive. That's really good. Uh, let's see. God damn it! It's not start. So, I didn't really explain about the uh, the attributes. Later, uh, pretty soon, we'll be able to modify things uh, and move attributes from one gun to another. Uh, this is where a lot of the min-maxing in the game comes from. And you can make some pretty great combinations that are very effective. By the way, don't make the same mistake I did and think more bullets equals more damage, because that's not true. <laughs> that is not true. You're right. Um... <clears throat> Sometimes having three bullets on a gun that actually does shit for damage is better than having five bullets on a gun that does less. Because, like... You can sometimes have sometimes that... having five bullets is really good. But the thing is, they take your uh, damage values and separate them across the amount of bullets you shoot. So if you, put a, if you make a five-shot grenade launcher, each of those grenades is individually going to be trash. Really? That means yes. that the number of shots is completely useless. Mm hmm Somebody did the math and they said that two and three times shot is actually best compared <clears throat> to one, four, and five. Yeah, I would believe that because there's versatility and yeah. Um... No, there's like there's a there's like a bell curve of damage for that, and I don't want to go fucking go into it. <laughs> there's a whole research, uh paper dedicated to it. You say that, and you're not wrong. <clears throat> By the way, inventory management is great in this game, because Voice of the Dog just replaced an item in his inventory for offense plus one, but the item you replace is still in the chest. Yeah, so you can go pick it up. That is nice, I do like that. Oh boy. Alright, maybe I could get one of them quickly. No, 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 no. I think you manage. These toads are not that damaging. I don't think they've ever hit them. They've hit them once. Yeah, they they've hit me 10 once. damage. Yeah, they're... I mean, if you're in a group of enemies and, you know, they tend... they can get dangerous. Also, they... Reacting. What's that? Ever... Uh, I never heard of no comedy. What? Mechanics from gun attributes sounds like something from Resi Revelations. Um, I don't think Revelations <laughs> had that mechanic. I need like six hours to wake up, Doc. I, I woke up like two hours ago. So should I just forget everything you just said? Yeah. Okay, done. You should probably do that regardless, okay? Done. <laughs> Oh yeah, how are you calling me from the sewers? Hi. Yep, getting hot. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna hear that a lot. 
You're surrounded by water, lady. Just take a dive. Sewer water. It's still refreshing and cool for something like her. Resi Revelations had gun mods. He goes, oh yeah, you're right. But they weren't, well, I guess. I'm going to give you a few billion years to evolve. And we'll see. Then we'll fight. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> her arm. <laughs> her, arms look kinda, her arms look kind of clumsy there. <laughs> she looks so silly. I don't think perfect being when I see her giant noodle arms. Clearly it's an evolutionary it. modification to surpass... I am evolutionarily perfect. <laughs> it's meant to subvert the predators of man, voice of dog. I don't think she has complete control of them yet. <clears throat> like Shadow saying he's the perfect evolutionary life form and then gets busted by the cops. <laughs> by the way, here's the crocodile problem. Yep. Also, now they're electric, sure. Whatever, who cares? I mean... It is a thing that eels could do, so I don't see why alligators can't do it. Uh, the game being nice enough to alert you to the fact that there are two things you could hit and should be probably going after the tail first, I think. Yeah, because the tail's a piece of shit that does that. Yeah. Yeah, he's a uh, ranged attack, very hard to dodge, covers way too much area. But you're slowly if you can handle it. Ow. This guy is kind of quick enough where you might have to tank some hits. Really, the best strategy here is my... Oh, shut oh. up. Shit. What? Oh, damn it, I ran into him. <laughs> Contact damage. I've Fighting this boss is a little clumsy, in my opinion. Or maybe I just don't know how to do it the right way. But There is a technique, but I'm, you know, I'm trying not to... Oh, I think I got him. That guy. Yeah, okay. Yo, Dick! Okay, so... Not over yet, but the game switches uh, perspective on you. I think it's the game's way of telling you, Hey, you did it. You killed the uh, annoying part. Here's a new camera angle to uh, subvert that. Damn it. Sometimes it's hard to tell where you are and enemies do contact damage in this game, which I really hate. Actually, I think this is the only enemy that does contact damage. Really? I don't... I've never seen that in the rest of the game. Uh, no, no. Okay. I don't know how much damage that does, but I don't really need to find out. You don't want to know. It's a lot. It's damage. That I've never seen it. As long as you kill this thing. Actually, the second form is way easier than I remember. Is this all he does? I remember yes. him rolling around and doing some kind of... No? Not the I know. Alright, never mind. Slow. Boy, that sounds like a great spell. I don't think it is. I don't remember it being very useful. <clears throat> no. Well, we, we killed all the bio-monsters. Time to go... Oh, get interviewed. Oh boy, it's time for the best character to make a stunning appearance. Yep. And by that wow, I mean how did reporter. you not just burst in the flames? That's, uh, wow. Holy just, shit. Just leave me alone, please. You have a gun, Aya. Just, you know, exercise power. Well, like that's this guy. That seems legal. <laughs> he just punched him in the back of his head. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he'd be done with the case of dead. <laughs> uh, so this is Daniel. He's also a cop. As you can tell, he's really good at being a cop. <laughs> Thank you, not Barrett. You're the best. This uh, man doesn't arrest, he just punches people in the back of the hats. 
<laughs> oh, sorry, your date got set on fire. <laughs> Given how brash uh, this guy is, he's actually probably the best character in this game. Yeah, I also like uh, Medea. Oh, Maeda. Yeah, however you say it. I thought you said Medea. I'm like, there's a chick in this game? <clears throat> Spelled the same, so I thought it might sound the same. <laughs> Boy, that sure was a weird day. Well, glad that'll never happen again. I just saw my date get set on fire, Daniel. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm asleep, but my gigantic anime eyes remain open on the lookout for danger. <laughs> it's a predatory look, evolution. Look. <laughs> oh man, she's evolving. It's already happening. <laughs> she doesn't need to sleep anymore. <laughs> they couldn't have closed her stupid eyes. <laughs> Also, talk about some really bad graphics. Holy! I like these. I like how quaint and <laughs> they bad look they like are. they look like a really shitty diorama. I <laughs> Only... know, but that's why I like them. Also, wow! I should really cook a lunch right now, but I don't know what to cook. Uh, no. I, I'm not an expert on that game. <clears throat> yes, I apologize. I just noticed the time. Oh. You gotta go, you gotta go, it's fine. Eh, I'll figure something out. I'll probably be going for another hour or two. Oh god, look at that water reflection, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's just... yeah. I did not notice that, that's pretty bad. Yep. Yep. Alright, we're going to, uh, split recording here.